All right. Tripod. Right in the way. Out of the frame. <laughs> there you go. Throwing putters. Uh, I think it's one of the most important things to have in the game. I have a huge stack, if you can look down there. Huge stack of stuff. I already have some stuff that I know that I'm, I'm, I'm loving, but I, have, I wanted to give some other discs a really good try because I might be uh, pulling a disc that you know opens up a whole new shot. So I'm excited to test these out. First up, Streamline Discs Pilot. This is a special edition plastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, micro bead. Good depth, feels feels fast, maybe a little bit slower than an Envy, maybe about the same, but not sure. I'm not even sure what the numbers are, so it's just kind of pump it flat into this tailwind. Ooh, that's stable. Very nice. More stable than I thought. Uh, felt like I was able to give it a good amount of power. I'd like to see it on a couple other angles, but good glide, didn't dump out, you know, just had a nice kind of predictable flight. So we got the Thought Space Muse. This is one that I already uh, tested out a little bit on putting and I really wanted to see how it would fly as a thrower. I feel like this one's gonna be very point and shoot. It's got a lot more glide, less bite, it's pretty money. That one had a little bit, it felt like whenever there was a part of its flight that it was on hyzer, but still moving straight. And then when it got slow enough, it actually started to move left. So that's pretty nice. On to another thrower, the P model US from Prodigy, their Ace line. I have seen Thomas Gilbert throw this a bunch and uh, Chris Dickerson. So this is a great one. Uh, but when you say US, you think understable, but this is actually not as understable as you think. So this is a great, great thrower that handles some power. So again, just trying to keep it nice and flat and let it fly. That did not glide at all. Huh, more of an approach disc if that's the case. Could have been on me, I might have just let that drop in the wind, but felt really good on the release, clean out of the hand, but definitely didn't get the push that I was hoping it would. So yeah, I'm gonna have to throw that one again. Got the JK AVR. I've been watching James kind of jam on these all, like all the time when he was with Innova. It's kind of uh, definitely worth giving a nice throw. I feel like this one's gonna be nice and stable, but the JK Pro and Juliana Corver, who doesn't wanna support her, she's amazing. Uh, but the plastic is a little bit softer, so I like that as a thrower a little bit more, so I know I can kind of control it to the ground and trust that it's not gonna get away from me with a skip. So again, nice and flat, see if we can get it to glide. That was a lot straighter than I thought. Right by the P Model US. Yeah. I think those first two just have a little bit more go, a little more glide. Not bad. It's not what I'm looking for. All right. Next up, we have the Mint Bullet. This is called a control putter. This one is uh, feels a little more shallow. I'd call it beadless. If anything, there's a lip or micro kind of thing on the edge, but definitely doesn't feel it. This looks like it's gonna be incredibly straight. Let's find out. Cut that one up finally. And I wasn't wrong, that thing is straight. Holy cow. I had that same, but this one, that had the same thing that like the, the Muse had, where it was on hyzer but kind of going still straight, but that did not have any bite, any bite at all. That was nice. Onward, we got the Profit from Mint. This one feels a little bit more overstable. 
Doesn't feel as glidey as the bullet. This one feels kind of more like an more like an approach disc or like a, you know, just an overstable option. I don't know, very flat topped. Plastic feels really good though. That thing does not glide. That thing is nice and stable though. Not bad. I mean, maybe a little bit on me. I did get that one kind of a little low, but it had good speed, clean release, has a bead, so I don't know if I would love that one too much. But yeah, let's move onward. We got the Thought Space Athletics Praxis. This thing, I don't know, comes down to the stamps, looks like a big Buddha. Hey, shout out to our editor. Um, yeah, this feels kind of similar to the bullet in a way. This looks like, it. I, I feel like this one's gonna be another point and shoot type disc with really good glide. Straight, super, super straight. Yeah, that's awesome. Straight as an arrow. Buddha is good. Buddha is good. Buddha is good. Yeah, I, uh, that's a type of disc that I want to see how it's flying in a month's time. Because I feel like that's the one that I'm gonna want to have one that's just nice and beat up, that's in there for like, throw that same exact line, and then have it just kind of like, f almost fade to the right. Is that, does that make sense? Like it's like low speed, low speed turn. And I think that that's what you can kind of uh, maybe expect from one of those as they beat up. Same goes for the bullet as well. All right, on to the next. We have the Infinite Discs Tomb. This one, this one feels like more like an approach disc. This feels like more like a throwing putter. I don't know if I would necessarily consider this a putting putter because it kind of has a more blunt edge. Doesn't feel too glidey, uh, but this feels like it's gonna be a great one off the tee because it feels like almost a hybrid, like it's like a, it's a putter mid, if you will, in the shape. Yeah, again, I have a feeling this one might be stable, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what it does when I hit it flat. That just stays nice and straight. That kind of reminded me of the Prophet a little bit. Maybe a little less stable than the Prophet. That was nice. But I don't, again, I don't know if it's what I, what I need in my putter throws. So I like a glidey overstable. I don't want something that I'm like having to throw harder than I want to. We'll see. Struggle. Yeah, it's just my brain. XCOM Banu, this is one that I, I, I had a feeling was just gonna be probably really easy to throw far for a putter, which is just because it just feels really glidey. I feel like that's, this is gonna be straight and want to go forever. Got good float. Very straight. Man. Yeah, that's uh, that. That's like, that's the same thing as the bullet or the Praxis where I'm like ready to see what that does in a month or two months. And you know, maybe I need to go out to the woods and throw some bad shots <laughs> and get them nice and beat up to see how they fly. And yeah, it's good. It's good, the plastic feels nice. Again, as I, as I mentioned over in the putting section, that bird almost hit me in the face. That's really close. Uh, um, yeah, that's, so when, a, that's a good putter. When picking your throwing putters, what are you looking for? Stability, <sighs> wide, yes. less, more? I want both of those. What I, like, what I like in a throwing putter is something that ages like fine wine, where it might start out on the overstable side, but I want it to be kind of stable with glide. Like, uh, like a P2 Iron Alpaca are like, again, top of my list going into this. But those are the types of discs that as they beat up, they kind of turn into the straight disc, but they still have some integrity when you hit them hard. So definitely, uh, definitely that's what I'm initially looking for. But man, some of these, like the, the Bullet, the Praxis, the, the Banu are, are opening up a kind of 
maybe I don't need that. Maybe I could use one of these as for the time being, uh, but you know, I could maybe see, oh, I have this beat alpaca that kind of kicks that out of the bag in, in time because I've had more throws with that alpaca than I would something else. But, um, but you're getting to see some really good flights. So if you're, you know, if it's something that you want, then it's going to be great. I think that's that's the part of all of this is it's not necessarily about figuring out what's good for me. Well, actually, that's the whole point of the series. So it is what's good for me, but it can be, help you find what's good for you. Let's go on to the P2. I've thrown this one already quite a bit. I know that this one can handle a little bit of power and it's got the glide instability that I'm looking for. Good feel in the hand. Let's just let it rip. A little bit nose up on hyzer, slowly working left, buckets. It's nice, it's good. I think, so I have been throwing uh, since I've been picking these up and I think I've grown to love the alpaca more than that, the, the Swedish made P2s simply because of, um, I think I'm getting a little more glide easier glide out of the alpaca than I am the P2, where the, those P2s are on the overstable side, so they are harder to get to go, even though these alpacas are overstable, but they just feel a little bit, they stay in the air a little longer. Would not be a good video if I didn't bust out the polecat. This is actually one that I've had this, man, okay, I have had this disc pushing close to 14 years. Yeah, this used to be my putting putter way back in the day when I first started out. So had to give this, had to get this in there. It's a polecat. It's just good. It's just a fun disc to throw. I am not going to throw this one flat. I'm going to throw this with some hyzer. Just so much fun to throw. Just so much fun. I don't know. I might, I might have the uh, the pole cat in the bag, but that thing is almost a relic. I might need to like retire it for good because of how old it is. I feel like I'm going to hit a tree and that thing is going to die, and I would be a very sad day. The envy. This is actually one I was tossing around a bunch in Utah. This is like a beat up alpaca. This is this is kind of plays a little bit in that same realm of it's a fast putter. Even though it says a three speed, it feels fast. I feel like I can throw some type of like more mid-range types of shots and it's point and shoot flies really really clean but has some but handles power well I think that's another part of why the envy is really good okay nice and flat just butter that one that's a disc that's that's a throwing putter that is so good. I would highly suggest everyone watching this video, go get an Envy. If you want to learn to play this game better, go get an Envy. That thing is gonna feel clean out of your hand, is gonna teach you to throw. That is a really good disc. It might not end up making my bag in the end, but I am keeping that one with me just in case, because there might be a perfect shot for it where I might not feel too comfortable with another disc. Go get an Envy, super good. Missed out on making my putting putter, but the Hunter, I remember AJ Risley throwing these when he was with Legacy, and it was super, super straight for him. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. Something similar to maybe even that Envy or the, the Benu. Ooh. See, that's got low speed turn. That's low speed turn. So that could be in the bag for a little bit until I get another disc that does something similar, but that felt flat into this kind of, it's a, it's a touch of a tailwind. It was nice and flat and just kind of, once it started slowing down, it just kind of kept moving to the right. That was nuts, that was crazy. So this is a weird one. This is probably more of an approach disc because it's the, uh, the Safe Fly plastic from Disc Golf UK. This is the Baron. It feels really good. It feels unique because it's just so soft. You done? Thank you, sir.
So the Disc Golf UK Baron in a safe fly plastic, it's super, super grippy. This might actually be more in the lines of like a unique approach disc. Might want this one at De La Viega or, you know, on some crazy approaches, but big B, it's got a big beat on it, but it doesn't feel that bad in the hand. Like I feel, I want to say it's going to be straight, but I'm part of me worries it might be overstable because if it's straight, I think it could be awesome. That grippiness of that plastic made me pull it, but it had a good flight. It's kind of, it, it had like, it was stable. It was not overstable, it was not understable. One disc I am very excited about that's, I think is already gonna have a, it, no, uh, it's not going to. It is, this is going in my bag. It's 100% going in my bag. One of the most unique discs I've ever thrown. I can throw this thing as hard as I want and it goes nowhere, but it does it in the straightest possible line. So that to me allows me to throw really, really comfortable approaches where I can full power the shot and know that I'm not gonna end up 50, 60 long, where I know that this is gonna check up short. If anything, I'm gonna come up 50, 60 short. In some situations, that's actually the place you want to miss. So, Casaplastberg, easy, let's go. So just fly straight and settles. It's money, it's just money. Who doesn't want that? So I definitely do. Last but not least, I have D-Blend Alpacas. This is a stiffer run of the D-Blend, overstable. Um, these are, I have two here that I have kind of been smacking some trees, making them work. You know, you want some of those warps in there, especially on the, the, the flippier ones, uh, flippier putters that you end up throwing. But this is exactly what I've been looking for. As I mentioned towards the P2, just feels a little bit easier to make it glide. Got integrity, that one's nice and straight. Kind of was a frozen rope. It's really good. Now I have this one, a little, little bit more stable. I can make work. That's why I'm always gonna have a couple of these in the bag, if not, you know, maybe an upwards of three. But maybe not, because li I'm liking some of those other putters. There's the stability. Skip on over there. Love it. So good. Alpacas. So first up, got the P model US. I didn't really hit this one as good as I wanted, but I have seen Thomas throw this for four hands. Um, I don't know. I think I have other discs that are gonna, you know, fill a similar slot. So this one is a great disc. If you like a more shallow, but decent stable thrower, P model US is good. I think the big bead on the JK AVR kind of rules it out for me, but make sure you go support Donna Corver when you can. She's amazing. Cat Splatsburg, like I said, I can throw this thing as hard as I want. It goes dead straight and kind of has, has no skip. I definitely need to start working it in for some forehand throws as well. Um, if you can see this being a great disc, you'll see it in the approach lineup as well. This is in the bag, 100%. Profit. I don't, know, I don't think this one's for me. Kind of reminds me of a, if they took a harp with, what kind of bottom is that? It's like a shallow, it's like a harp and a suspect had a baby depth wise, but they have like the, the bottom edge of a marshal. The pole cat. When is this coming out in halo plastic? The fans, that's what I think everybody really wants to know. If it comes out in halo plastic, you'll see one in my bag. I don't know if this one's necessarily gonna be an actual disc that I, I end up throwing, but it is a fun disc to kind of mess around with. Check out the end of a pole cat. It'll help you out. The Tomb, this was, this was suggested by a lot of people who are infinite fans. This is a great one. Again, I don't know if it's, I think because I'm jamming on the alpacas as much as I am, that I don't necessarily need this disc. And with the Berg and the alpaca, it kind of covers the, some, some of the same shots that this will throw. Got a low speed turn dreamer in the hunter. So this one again, this might this might make the bag as I wait for an alpaca to get nice and seasoned in. So I'm gonna keep ripping on this one a little bit more. This has definitely kind of been surprising me. 
It's really, really good. Talked about this, go buy one. Don't even question it, get it. Save yourself some strokes. Again, if you like really, really soft plastic, check out Disc Golf UK, Baron, beaded putter. It's not bad, it's interesting. XCOM, the new. I don't think this one's gonna end up, end up having a spot anywhere in my bag, but I was pleasantly surprised with how fun it was to throw. Good glide, very straight, but it doesn't do what I already have covered. You know, from Mint and Thought Space are, are awesome. They have a similar shape, similar depth, and they're really straight and easy to throw putters. I, if, if you, for whatever reason, don't want to get yourself an Envy, these would be the next two discs that I would suggest as, as your options for, for a good putter that's going to teach you to throw better. Absolutely quality discs. All right, wrapping them up. The reinvented P2, super solid, but I think just a brand new alpaca will hold the slot in that in that regard. Um, I want to give this I want to give this Muse and, and Pilot another rip because these felt really good. They had decent stability, so I'm definitely going to toss these again. So let's give a let's do a leather. We'll retire a few and throw some back. All it does is want, once it gets over to flat, it just wants to hold over. That's what I feel like that's what that hunter is really, really prime at. And we're gonna throw, try and throw everything straight at that. Now you get to see the bird into a headwind. Again, this is one is really difficult to make fly far at all, but again, that's the point. You don't need it to fly far. Love it. I push that over, but it's not turning and burning. It's not doing much, it's not biting out. And again, once it hits the ground, it sits. It's just good. The Berg. Got the Envy. Let's go a little bit of Heiser. I'm not joking. Everybody should be throwing that disc. Even maybe me. <sighs> yeah, maybe me. There's gonna be a shot where that is going to be the perfect disc. And I'm gonna be so happy that it's in the bag. All right, nice alpaca. Let's try and throw it just like we threw that Envy. Ooh, just more stable. Look at that! Just goes. God, I love it. I love the alpaca. I, I, so to give you guys a better perspective, there was a time in my career of playing where I was throwing D-line P2s and I was throwing them as much as I could. Power grips, fan grips, everything. I just jam, 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 jam on those. So this takes me back to a style of throwing that I uh, haven't really been using. I've been creating more touch, but being able to do this is opening up kind of maybe some new avenues and some old things that I didn't realize that I liked when I was throwing. All right, we're giving the Muse one more rip. See how it flies into a headwind. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try and throw it just like I threw that Envy. Just touch a hyzer and let it drift. Nah, that's... That's solid. That was nice and straight. I didn't get the drift though. I think it's a little more stable than I'm giving it credit for, which is nice. So now we do have this pilot. I feel like this one was decently straight. So I think I'm gonna kind of go flat into the wind and see if it drifts or it holds up. Oh, that holds up well. Okay. If you want something that feels like the Envy, but is overstable, get a Pilot. It's really nice. But again, I don't know if it takes, takes the cake over the alpaca. This one's a little more stable, just push it flat. That's why I like the alpaca. 
that flight right there. Ugh, oh, it's beautiful. Chef's kiss. Wrap up the throwing putters. The Envy, I think, is gonna be a disc that is gonna be uh, fighting for a slot in my bag. This is, as, a, as I'm building my bag, I'm gonna keep throwing this, uh, you know, in comparison to my alpacas, because it flies like my straight alpaca, but it offers something just a little bit different. And, you know, I want to give that a go. I wanna try that on some more, more difficult courses and see if, you know, this one just shines more than the other, or if it just, earns its own slot in the bag. And that's something that I need to remember is that I don't really have limited slots. I can have, I can have a lot more discs in my bag and let, you know, let the discs do the work rather than me trying to force them to make them work. So the Envy, everybody should grab one of these if you're really trying to work and, and let this work for you. Two, two D blend alpacas, maybe even three of these, depending. I love the consistency. I can throw them on hyzer, I can throw them flat, I can throw them forced over. Uh, this is this is the this is the putter that is was I was just so excited to be bagging one that has continued to surprise me the Berg this one's in I told you already it's a it's a winner it, when I need this disc is when uh, like I, that's when I feel like this is, is going to shine I don't need to try and force this disc into any situation but when the situation calls for the Berg I'm going to want to have this and it's going to be the perfect disc and all I got to do is trust it pop it right at the basket and know that it's going nowhere but underneath it. So Berg definitely wins. Uh, Zach and I were just talking about this. I do think the Hunter has a good chance to make the bag. When I go to more wooded courses is when this disc will have some, some use. I could see myself using it for touch shots, holding turns. I can see myself, you know, when it's not necessarily a forehand or I don't have a forehand throw and I need to throw a backhand where I can get that nice slow drift because it always wants to do that. Even into a tailwind, I felt like I was getting that low speed turn. So now if I really kind of get it out there flat, I feel like I can get a lot of just more natural drift out of the disc and maybe even play some of those shots. So this is um, kind of reminds me what I've seen people throw KC Pro Rocks for in the woods, but this is in putter form. So that nice hyzer stands up to flat and just kind of, kind of works itself right. So Hunter from Legacy, it, Challenge for a spot in the bag on the green, but definitely has earning, you know, a, you know, a varied spot on uh, off the tee and on some approaches. So we'll see this a little bit more getting tested out. And yeah, I'm enjoying this so much. I can't express that. I've gone and thrown so many putters and I'm just excited to throw more. Next up is the approach discs. We're gonna be talking about overstable approach this some understable approach this some really unique discs that have uh might only have one use and one use only but it if they if it's going to give me an option uh, it might earn its spot in the bag but you've already seen i've got some great options and i've shown you that there are amazing options out there and i haven't even scratched the surface as to all the discs that are out there i think that's the coolest part is that go try stuff go test it out throw everything if you have somebody else's bag and they have a disc that you wanted to try ask if you can you know throw it throw it into a tree make fun of them it'll be great it doesn't matter go throw discs this is this is ah man infinite discs throw what you love infinitediscs.com it's just amazing like comment subscribe i'm pumped see you in the approach video let's go new avenues and some old things that I didn't realize that I liked when I was throwing. Just know it's gonna catch it. <laughs> 